I was like gonna do one of those cool little rolling intros where I like sit down while I'm like, oh, I'm all cool. I'm gonna drink my milk. And then I just like sat down and I just choked on it a little bit. <coughs> Hello, hi. Uh, uh, if all of my subscribers were to watch this, that means there's about 70 of you who uh, discovered me from uh, the, the critical live stream. Hi, thank you. For anyone who doesn't know what's going on. We hit, uh, we, we hit, we hit 500 subscribers, Woo! So I was actually just like, wrapping up my, my day, yeah, yesterday, and I was, I was getting ready to go to bed, I was, I was about to take a shower, actually, and, uh, I got a comment on the Konami video that, uh, I was like, oh, I'm here from Charlie, and I was like, what? <laughs> No. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, and it turns out that uh, Charlie, aka Critical, one of the, the most popular s single people on the internet, uh, was doing a YouTube night on his stream, and he was just watching videos from uh, that his viewers suggested. One of those happened to be... One of those viewers happened to be... Harmless. Harmless. Thank you, Harmless. And, uh, it was- it was crazy. Uh, I immediately opened up Twitch, and I went to his stream, and, uh, it was honestly surreal to see him. I caught the tail end of it when he was, um, like, at the- at the luchador part, and <laughs> it was- <laughs> my- my hands were literally shaking because I was like, what the fuck is going on? There's like 70,000 people watching my video. <laughs> <laughs> um, more people watched that video on that stream than have watched the entire video in like the uh, close to a year since I made it, you know, uh, maybe nine months. Um, that was super surreal and then I just started getting tons of comments and, and subscribers coming in and uh, I jumped about 70 subscribers in the span of like an hour and uh, that's crazy so I wanted to say thank you thank you thank you very much to uh, well one to to harmless for, for uh, uh, enjoying it really does make me feel happy that uh, someone would enjoy what I make enough to let me move the someone would enjoy what I make enough to just completely free of charge, just just try and share it with people. That's really nice. Um, uh, thank you to Critical for uh, actually giving the video a shot. He thought it looked boring because he had never heard of the conference before. And then uh, he, he gave it a shot and he ended up really liking it and that was absurd. That video drives me insane because it's my most viewed video by a long shot and the drop off is pretty huge. Um, and like the audio in that video was so bad, so I actually didn't. Uh, so I have a I have a pop filter. I didn't have a pop filter back then. I didn't have a pop filter back then. Um, so I was trying really hard to control my audio. I was also really like new. It's like my fifth video. I was really new to YouTube, and so I didn't know anything about like how to present myself or something like that. I was still using. I edited that on like a three hundred dollar laptop. Uh, with like a, the reason that that video looks like it's it's filmed in a bucket of fried chicken <laughs> is because it's just on my laptop webcam. So like the audio is really bad, and the webcam part is really bad, and uh, the editing is really amateurish compared to like what I do now. But it's also my most viewed video, so I'm kind of people, you know, generally like it. So I'm I'm, I'm thankful for that. Uh, and then I want to thank after you know him, uh, everyone who has subscribed before and subscribed after that video, who came to my channel and thought that it was really cool. That's super nice. Uh, it was one of my goals to um, get 500 subscribers before 
on November, it's either the 12th or the 19th, I got the dates mixed up in my head, but because that'll be the one year anniversary of when I started actually making videos uh, on the channel. Uh, so, 500 in one year? That's a basically, you know, a 500% increase, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, basically. So uh, if you are coming from that stream and you've only just discovered me, um, I uh, uh, my channel is basically dedicated to uh, like niche obscure stuff related to gaming, uh, like historical stuff, just, just weird stories sometimes, uh, taking a look at phenomenons or trends that happened, and sometimes just like individual games that I find interesting for whatever reason. Some of the stuff is more uh, comedic and some of it is more like documentary, historical, um, but sometimes I also just can't help myself from putting in uh, really dumb jokes. So if you are new to the channel, I would probably suggest uh, two of my most recent videos that I am really happy with would be my uh, 480 video, which I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the card about Steam Secret Game, and then uh, the Quake, the Legacy of Quake. Uh, that's another one that I think is is really good. Um, uh, and just thank you to everyone who has subscribed for 500 subscribers. That's uh, crazy. I basically do this full time, uh, and I'm really ha glad that everyone, or that, you know, people have had such a positive reaction to the garbage that I spew out. Oh, I also do a podcast, speaking of garbage that I spew out. I do a podcast every Monday, I do a video um, basically every week, unless um, something goes bad. <laughs> a bit of a messy upload schedule recently. <laughs> But I was thinking about, like, what do I want to do for a 500 subscriber video? Uh, but I was kind of pushing it off, like, oh, I'll have, like, two weeks, probably, at the least, to figure out a topic for what I do for the 500 subscribers. Because for 100 subscribers, I did the song from uh, uh, Alternate Reality. I did that song. So, it's like, uh, do I want to do another musical thing? It was kind of fun. I don't want to, like, I don't, I don't want to do it again. Unless there's like a specific song, because I kind of did that one as a joke, uh, and then I just figured, oh, I actually hit 100 subscribers. Let me do the song. Um, uh, uh, so today we're gonna go back to back of my room. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna talk about my anime figures. <laughs> They're in the background of every single video that I make. Uh, the ones with where I show myself, at least, uh, figure that it's it's time to it's good a time as any to show the people the truth. So we're gonna start out with uh, these are all like super dusty because I'm a I'm a slob. Uh, maybe you can tell from the goddamn mess on my bookshelf over there. Uh, but I am uh... <laughs> so this. This is actually my very first figure that I ever got. Uh, it's a Madoka Magica. I bought this from a guy at my high school for uh, like $25 and it sat on my desk in my history class uh, and my teacher came over and he, he looked at it and for a few seconds and he just looked back at me and, and he kind of had this, he kind of shook his head like, you know, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? It's Tygen, you know? Uh, I've never even watched Madoka Magica, uh, but it's, you know, it's a nice enough figure. It uh, doesn't really, doesn't have any, like, actual, like, uh, factory imperfections. Just nice. It's kind of rare in my experience. Yeah, it's nice. The, the paint, the paint color is nice. The pose is fine. Uh, it's neat. This one is sort of special. It's not technically a figure, and it's not technically anime, but I have it up there. This is the, this is a bust of the the warrior of light from Final Fantasy. So I actually got this because I love Dissidia, uh, specifically Dissidia and T sorry Dissidia Duodecim. And when Dissidia and T was coming out, I was like, I asked my uncle basically for like a like an early Christmas present because it was in like September. Uh, 
that it released, and he got me like the $200 collector's edition. Thank you. Uh, the the game kind of sucked, but this figure's really nice. So it's just this bust, highly, highly detailed bust of the Warrior of Light. Maybe get another focus, please. Focus. They'll just have to use your imagination. But like extremely like nice, uh, like the MT style where it's using the, the original Yoshitaka Amano designs. Um, this one just, it's, it's very, it's really nice. I like it a lot. It's very, got like tons of like little uh, details of like little like uh, scratches in his armor and stuff. It's uh, really neat. I love the pose. He almost looks like a chess piece or something, right? Like you could maybe like get a bunch of these and play chess. This is uh, Ch Chitoge Ch from the, what is it called? Nisekoi. It's called, it's called, it's called Nisekoi. Uh, this is Chitoge in a swimsuit. I've never seen Nisekoi either. I'm sorry. I don't I it was cheap I was like, yeah, I'll get a Chitoge swimsuit. That's cool This one you want to talk about swimsuits uh, This one's special. This is a This is a Super Sonico Beach edition uh, I like this one for a couple reasons. So Super Sonico she not Super Sonic. That's maybe Super Sonico, this is actually the mascot of an, like, an audio production software. I don't... <laughs> look. So I like a few things about this. Uh, number one, uh, she has the balls, or I guess the ovums, to, uh, <laughs> to wear heels on the, on the beach. That's gotta be, like, an immediate, like, ankle buster, right? Uh, and there's two, two specific things Two specific things that I really like about this figure. Number one, uh, it's her little ice cream, which you can actually take out. And you can put it back in her hand. That's pretty crazy. Number two, this little crabby guy. See see him? Focus, goddammit. It's a little it's a little crabby guy. He just he just skitters around in the sand. Also, she's got massive. T Next up, let's go. Yeah, we're go we're moving on to the fellas. The one other male character that I own a statue of. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Rohan Kishibe from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, I'm a huge JoJo fan. Uh, Rohan is one of my favorite characters, uh, and this is based off of uh, I believe one of the like a, something he wore on like the cover of one of the the spinoffs. He has like his own spinoff. Um, I just just love the colors on this. It's a little difficult, maybe, to see um, with my uh, the nuclear explosion going on on the other side of my face. But uh, it's like this white and kind of like really nice, like electric blue. And then his hair is this sort of greenish. I love his pose. There's a ton of detail on like the folds of the fabric. It's super neat. I'm a big fan. Uh, I just think that this one looks awesome. It's very tall. Right, it's like it's like a head high, um, uh, just super cool. <clears throat> uh, I love the I love the pose. <laughs> Got a two for. So uh, I'm a big Toho fan. I own like seven Toho figures or something. Uh, this is uh, Yomu. She's like a half ghost. I don't really know how you're like half ghost. Maybe it's like if you work like a like a job, and, and you're like dead on the inside, but not on the outside. She's like a gardener. Huh. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm not even a huge Yomu fan. I think her design is neat. Like, I like the green color. Uh, and this has like, you know, the little like ghosty wisp that's like trailing around her is pretty neat. It like goes down to her like leg and wraps around. It's it's nice. I like the, the sword. It has a little flower in it because she's like a gardener. She's like a she's like a ghost sword gardener. The second one is uh, Flander, who's uh, this is technically like only this is you can see there's like a part that's supposed to fit in here. There's like a second um, there's a second figure of her and her sister Romelia that you're supposed to like click in and they like make one like larger display. Uh, I just think Flanders' design is super neat. I've always loved that she's like a vampire with like wings that are like crystals. It's just such a weird, interesting thing. Uh, funny story, I, I ordered um, a different Flander 
statue one time and it came in and because her wings are so like they're just like sticks uh, that one like it just like snapped it broke off it was all messed up in the packaging and I ended up walking like three hours into like the boonies of my town uh, to like the post office like the only post office that I could go to um, and then I fucked up the um, the label and I had to walk back because they wouldn't print another label for me no, I had to print it. They wouldn't do it for me. It was a big thing. Um, I went through a lot to get this <laughs> to get this figure. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this one I have to be super duper careful with. There's a lot of pieces that could fall apart. Okay, this is Romelia Scarlet. This is uh, Flanders' sister. Uh, this is a fucking huge. <laughs> I guess I can talk about it while I'm putting it back together. Enjoy my, enjoy looking at like my, my empty box of chips that I just use as a garbage bag. So yeah, this is like a huge, huge, uh, figure. Uh, it's got, it's got like three pieces. No, so the spear itself, the fire spear, it's, uh, like two pieces. It's this main piece and then this piece, this piece, which is super finicky to get on. Let's see if I, if I can like. Oh, this one was kind of a victim of uh, factory, factory funnies. Move this over. The the hole for like the, the, the this part like or it's supposed to like uh, there's a little like nub here you're supposed to stick it into. The hole on this part is a little uh, not shaped quite quite right. Okay, okay, we got it in. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the, then she's got this like fireball thing. This figure is like really complex. You can see she has these like, uh, <laughs> she has these like weird like spires that she's standing on. Uh, this like doesn't barely, there's like a couple ways you can position it, but uh, there's a little couple like little nubs sticking up from the, from the base. Uh, but they don't all like stick in evenly. Like you're putting down a Lego on like, you're like, you're clicking all the things in. It's like you pick like one little hole on the the uh, the figure that you put onto the onto the nub of the base. Uh, and the other ones are just kind of like free. Uh... <laughs> so uh, funny story when uh, someone like the day that I got this I put this together on like my kitchen table because it was the only place that I could let's get this around your finger uh, I was like the only place that had enough like room in the house at the time to like put all this shit because the box was also huge and um, uh, my mom and I had gotten into like I don't know I'd said something earlier that day that she didn't like so she comes into my room, and she goes, "I just, I just left it on the kitchen table." And she goes, <laughs> "She goes, do you want to talk about your little lady?" So I go over to the kitchen, and I'm like, "Well, mom, this is uh, this is Romelia Scarlet, and she's a 700-year-old vampire from the Toho series, a series of indie bullet hell shooters." And it's perfectly fine because she's 700 years old to... And then she cuts me off and she goes, okay, what, what, what did you say earlier today about the, about the... And she like brought up the thing and I was like, this is, this is entrapment, ma'am. You can't just come over and... You can't just come over and, and, and tell, ask me to like tell you about my, my... my awesome Romelia Scarlet figure and then talk to her and have like a serious conversation with me. It's not cool. This one is a uh, uh, some like Hatsune Miku This one is a Hats Hats Hatsune Miku. It's a uh, Tell Your World version, I think. I don't actually listen to Hatsune Miku. It was just on sale for kind of cheap. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's actually like broken. Like there's 
There's like one part that's supposed to be, there's like a piece of her hair that's like really obvious that, oh yeah, like it's supposed to be like not, I don't know, it's easier to see up close, but, uh, or like in, in person, but yeah, uh, the sub part of it is just like not <laughs> connected properly. <laughs> it's like colorful, it's kind of a neat, like outfit for her. It's kind of like a neat color scheme. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. She does. I never looked up the... Anyway. Speaking of... <laughs> uh, 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 I can't defend this one. <laughs> I... I just... I like... I like... I like Megumin. It was on sale, okay? I like Mega Man, it was on sale. Like, what am I... I I'm not made out of money, okay? I'm not getting Raid Shadow Legend sponsorships yet. Fuck. Just chill out. Alright, we're coming to the final four. It's like, uh... Like, March Madness. Or something. I don't watch basketball. So, these two, you might be able to tell... Uh, are the exact same character. Uh, this is Sakuya Izayoi from Toho. Uh, she's like one of my favorite. I love all the Toho character designs, but well, most of them. Uh, Sakuya is easily like one of my favorites. I love Sakuya. I think she's super cool. Uh, she is a maid. She stops time and throws knives. Um, this one is nice. I really like. There's a lot of just like nice little extra details. Uh, this is actually, this is a Sega figure. Uh, Sega makes really good figures, uh, probably because of all that Yakuza money that they don't have. So she's actually like, she's holding the knives in her, in her hand, and you can actually see if the camera wants to focus, uh, that she's holding, really, you're just gonna focus on, on me? Thank you, I appreciate it. She's actually holding each of the knives in between, like, her fingers, like, her actual fingers. It's not just, like, smacked onto there. Uh, really nice, really nice little touch. Also, her, uh, pocket watch that she, that's, it's like her stop time symbol has, uh, fucking dirt, that looks like I have dirt on my fucking chin. I need to shave. Has, uh, it has, like, the little, her pocket watch has the, it's focus, goddammit. If I literally obscure myself from the from the frame, will it focus on it? No. Um, well, her pocket watch has like the little uh, has the uh, has the the you know lines written on it. It's not just blank. It actually, has the detail of like all the uh, all the um, like the hands and the and the ticks for the for the hours. Uh, and then down. I promise you this isn't weird. I have down here, it's like her holster for all of her knives. And you can actually see, ooh. You can actually see, is there a good angle? That's not like an upskirt shot. She actually has one of the knives still in there because she, there's four slots and she's only holding three. Wow, what a neat little detail. This other one is, uh, I actually don't know. I forget what, what, what uh, company this one is, so I'm not gonna make a fool out of myself, but uh, I like this one. It's just like a nicer, slightly more, uh, I don't know, it's like her in like a different art style, sort of. It's got more of like a, uh, a little less cartoonish than the, than the Sega one. Uh, it's, it's nice. Uh, she has like red bottoms on her shoes. That's kind of neat looking. Uh, no real like super, close detail. She's still got, uh, all of her fingers are individually molded. It's still not gonna focus. Huh, okay. But yeah, they're all individually molded, and, uh, the knives are through them, and it's just nice. It's a nice, like, a nice quality figure. This one is Reimu. It's, uh, certainly Reimu. I only have this one because, because it's Toho, and you know, it's like Reimu. The, the little, like, base part is neat. Like, I like the swoop. That's sort of cool, but Reimu's fine. I'm sorry, uh, sorry, Reimu enthusiasts. She's got the cards. She's holding the cards for the demon ceiling. That's kind of 
It's kind of neat. And then finally, yeah, finally, uh, is Alice, Alice Margatroyd. So this is probably like also like her and Saki are my are my my favorites. And uh, this one is like not this was like a this was like a, a compromise one because there's like one Alice figure that I really 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 want, but it's always like three hundred dollars minimum. Uh, and it's like her, so she like has these uh, rings, which you can actually, I mean, it doesn't want a goddamn focus, but you can kind of see on her fingers that she has like little rings and she uses those to control these uh, these puppets or these, these dolls that like have like weapons and stuff. And uh, there's like one figure that's like huge and it has like all of the dolls and they have like weapons you could put in the hands and it's super sick. Uh, this one is, you know, it's just her with like her little uh, her little book, her, her grimoire, uh, and she's just you know she's just having a good time. She's just she's just smiling. She's doing kind of like the uh, like the with the, this hand. She's doing kind of like the Hime like <laughs> like Karen from Street Fighter. All right, uh, everything is back in place, back as it should be. Uh, this was just like a fun, quick vid that I wanted to put together just to say thank you guys for 500 subscribers. I hope this was at least moderately interesting to hear me talk about uh, all of my embarrassing anime figure hobbies. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for getting me to my milestone before the end of the year. Uh, that's been... This has been really cool. It's been super interesting. Uh doing all this stuff. It's probably the least insightful comment I could possibly make that it was that. It's been interesting. I was thinking that I wanted to do like, uh, uh, you know, like 100, 500, 1,000, 5,000. That's in the distance, but, you know, so uh, this is going to be probably the last one until last uh, subscriber. Thank you till uh, 1,000. At which point, honestly, that video is probably just going to be the tournament. Uh, if when, once I get to a thousand subscribers, we're doing a space war tournament, uh, which you can go watch that 480 video for more info on uh, at the end of that video. So uh, yeah, I don't know how many times I can say thank you, but this is just super cool. Um, it was absolutely absurd. I was literally trembling as I was watching Critical freak out to the bit with the, with the luchadors <laughs> people get really into that bit I'm, I'm i'm proud of that that part uh i will be back at the end of the week with a new video uh i guess this is going up tomorrow so i'm like wednesday uh thank you thank you thank you so much uh Oh, podcast listeners, here's a little treat. Here's the here's the famous magnets. Here's the famous magnets that I can't stop playing with during the podcasts. I can't stop playing, like, I can't stop fidgeting with them. Uh, so I can keep my sanity while I just endlessly talk about Blizzard sexual soul allegations. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.